I'm standing here on the corner of 17th and Oregon Avenue in South Philadelphia, where 16 years ago this week, October 5th, 1995, Billy Vesey was shot and killed. One of the most infamous hits in the history of the Philadelphia underworld. Billy Vesey was on his way to work, drove up to this corner in his GMC Jimmy, and two gunmen ran up and opened fire. He was shot multiple times, drove across the street and crashed his car into, into another vehicle, and he died on the scene. Vesey was the brother of John John Vesey a notorious hitman for the John Stanford crime family. And that morning, John Vesey was supposed to take the stand and testify against John Stanford and seven co-defendants in a racketeering case. The conventional wisdom at the time was Billy Vesey had been killed because his brother was testifying against John Stanford. But subsequently, federal authorities came to find out the hit did not come from John Stanford, but it came from a separate faction of the Philadelphia mob, a faction headed by Ralph Natale and Joey Merlino. And the murder wasn't to shut Vizi up. The murder was to avenge an earlier homicide in which John Vizi was the shooter. John Vizi in August of 1993 was one of the hitmen in the murder of Mike Changalini, a close associate of the Merlino faction of the mob. Mike Changalini's brother, John Changalini, was part of the organization according to federal authorities. Mob boss Ralph Natale, who subsequently became a government witness, testified that he ordered the murder of Billy Vesey back in 1995 to avenge the murder of Mike Changalini in 1993. It was, Natale said, a brother for a brother. Kind of the dark side of the city of brotherly love. It's a show! It's a show when they kill somebody, it's self affiliated No one was ever convicted for the murder of Billy Vesey. Several individuals, including Merlino and John Changalini, were charged in a racketeering case, but the jury decided there wasn't enough evidence to substantiate those charges. They were convicted of other offenses, but the Billy Vesey murder is, on the books at least, an unsolved murder. The wild card in all of this is John John Vesey, the government informant, the government witness, the former hitman, who became a cooperator himself and who several years ago was released for prison. John John Vesey has always talked about avenging his brother's death. And in interviews with Dave Schratreiser on Channel 29 and former Inquirer reporter Raf Cipriano in Philadelphia Magazine, Vesey insisted that he's put all of that behind him, that he's going on with his life, that he's doing well somewhere in middle America. Subsequent to those interviews, however, he's popped up here occasionally, secretly in Philadelphia, and has put out word, has harassed some of the individuals involved in the Billy Vesey hit. John John Vesey remains a wild card in this unsolved murder. He's going to be the focus of an electronic book put together by Schratweiser and Cipriano that's supposed to be out later this year. Whether Vesey does more than just talk about what happened to his brother and what he wants to do remains to be seen. But the murder of Billy Vesey, now 16 years old, underscores the whole idea that this mafia is a family.